Hey, welcome to part one of my video series for my new race car build for the 2020 season coming up. So last year I ran a 2005 Honda S2000 AP2 car and I ran that in TT5. I had some decent success with the car. I won the national championship last year and I had the lap records at Pitt Race, Watkins Glen, Summit Point, uh, Mid-Ohio, uh, Lightning, and the IR as well there. So I had some pretty decent success with the car. It was a successful build. And this year, uh, just changing it up a little bit, but not too much, I'm building a 08 S2000. And this is gonna be my first car that I built that's a 06 to 08 generation car, which has some differences that we'll be going through uh, throughout the build here. So i uh, really looking forward to it, excited, and I can't wait. So here it is. This is the car for the 2020 and beyond season. It's a 2008 Honda S2000. Uh, these are AP2s, but they're considered the AP2 V2, standing for version two cars, because of some major changes that Honda went and did on this generation of car. Uh, predominantly being switching over to CAN bus ECU and drive-by-wire, all the previous cars were cable throttles. That opens up a lot of opportunities for different things racing-wise that we'll be discussing later as we continue with the build on this car. Uh, other things that were changed on here, uh, it has an MK60E ABS system in here, similar to E46 M3. Uh, it's a really great ABS system. Uh, the old cars did not have that on here. And a bunch of other small things that I'll point out as we do the build. So I bought this car from a friend. It was used in TT2. It was a turbo car with an Endyne built F22 in it. it had a Science to Speed turbo kit, uh, V-mount, JRZs. OEM hardtop, all the fixings. It was a, a really, really nice, well-built car. This is the best built modified car that I've ever bought, just the way everything was done uh, as far as the fittings and wiring. Uh, my friend's a Honda master mechanic, and there was not only no expense spared on the build, but the quality of the work done on this car was just top notch. So I was very happy with that. So I was toying with a couple of different options as to what to buy for next season. And I went through, looked at the 330 E46s, maybe buying a spec E46 car, and then running that in TT5 and ST5, as well as spec E46. And then I also looked at E36 M3s and did some spreadsheets, went back and forth on cost and effort, labor, everything like that. And it came down to this. I already have this car. I really was barely using it on the street it was already in my garage, I already knew it pretty well. So this really was gonna be the perfect candidate to be the build for the next season. Plus, I have a lot of knowledge on these S2000s. I've been driving them and tracking them since 2005. And I've never built a V2 car, so this was gonna be a good opportunity to learn a little bit more about this generation of specific S2000. Uh, plus a bunch of advantages that these cars have over the older years. So this is it, the motor, uh, it's a 07 motor that was given to me with the car when I bought it. It's a factory long block, which is how I like them. Just untouched, unopened. I find these to be by far more reliable than any built motor I've ever seen for these cars. Honda just did a phenomenal job. This is a motorsports great motor right, right from the factory. Uh, been taking some time and doing small things like rewrapping the harness. Honda really used some really poor tape when they did these harnesses. So I went and I redid uh, all the harness and VESA tape, working on some stuff in here. Moving weight where weight can be removed and just slowly building this thing up. I got all winter to build it. So that's the car and uh, quick sneak peek of it. I think that TT5 and ST5 are the best classes in NASA right now. The racing is extremely close. Just in TT at the Nationals, first through third was separated by one tenth of a second and first through second was by five hundredths of a second. So that's some good close racing. I think a lot of the TT guys are going to be graduating to ST uh, for next season, including myself. So it's going to be uh, good class sizes. Locally, we've been having 8 to 14 cars attend just in the TT classes. And ST itself has been 5 to 8. So it's a growing class. I think next year is going to be bigger than ever. And I'm looking forward to running in it. And in this build, we'll be talking about a lot of stuff on how to class for it, how to maximize with the rules and figure out some of the simple stuff that people have questions about, like how to calculate average horsepower, how to do the uh, compliance forms online and everything else like that. So looking forward to doing this video series. It's gonna be fun. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted as we build this thing throughout the winter.